All right, Hotep. It's none other than your brother, Osiah Don Obawadi, also known as Professor Ace, www.AfricanCreationEnergy.com. Today is July the 1st, 2011, and this video will be discussing the topic of pyramid mathematics and calculating the secret. Now, the secret was an uh, ancient Egyptian method for measuring the slope of an inclined surface. For a pyramid, the secret was calculated as the ratio of half of the base of the pyramid divided by the height of the pyramid. The ancient Egyptians used the secret because it was more practical in application than the use of angles. The ancient Egyptians did not use angles to measure slopes, they used the secret. The secret would be equivalent to our modern expression of the cotangent of an angle where the cotangent of the angle equals the base divided by the height of a right triangle and the secret also equals the base divided by the height of a right triangle. And the secret was based on the unit of measurement called the royal cubit. The royal cubit was originally the forearm length of a pharaoh. One cubit was equal to seven palms, meaning it divided into seven palms and each palm was divided into four fingers with for a total of 28 fingers in a royal cubit. Uh, the royal cubit is approximately the length of 0 0.52 meters in our metric system. So in pyramid mathematics, height and base were usually expressed in cubits, while the secret was expressed in palms. Ahmos's mathematical papyrus from 1650 to 1680 BC roughly, also known as the Rhine mathematical papyrus, has several equations that deal with calculating the secret. And as we can see here on our Rhine Mathematical Papyrus, if you look closely, you see at least five to six different triangles where they were working out these different uh, geometric and trigonometric equations related to the secret. The last five problems, problems 56 through 60, deal with the actual calculation of the secret. And so we're going to go ahead and work some of these problems to get familiar with calculating the secret and doing pyramid mathematics. And here is our depiction of Ahmos wearing the traditional a wardrobe and headdress of a scribe, Sesh, in ancient Nile Valley culture. All right, so let's go ahead and try to tackle problem 56 from Ahmos's mathematical papyrus. So problem 56 says, find the secret of a pyramid whose base is 360 cubits and whose height is 250 cubits. All right, so to solve this problem, first let us remember that a secret is equal to half of the base divided by the height. For this particular problem, half of our base would be 360 divided by 2, which would be 180. Our secret, therefore, would be 180, which is half of our base, divided by 250, which comes out to 0 0.72 cubits. Now remember, our, the secret was usually expressed in palms, and one cubit was equal to 7 palms. Therefore, if we take the 0 0.72 cubits and multiply it by 7, we get a secret of 5.04 palms as the answer to this problem. Let's go ahead and tackle problem 57 from Ahmos's mathematical papyrus. So problem 57 states, find the height of a pyramid whose base is 140 cubits and whose secret is five palms, one finger. So for this problem, instead of using the height and the base to find the secret, you're given the secret and the base and asked to find the height. So we can rewrite our equation for secret as the height is equal to half the base divided by the secret. So for this problem, half the base would be 140 divided by 2, which is 70. Now let us remember that 1 cubit is equal to 7 palms. Therefore, if we divide 70, which is half the base, by our secret, which is 5.25, and multiply it by 7, we get a height of 93.33 cubits. So now that we understand how to calculate the secret and how inclined surfaces and angles were related and measured in ancient Egypt. Let's do some analysis of some famous pyramids. So the first pyramid we're going to tackle is Imhotep's step pyramid that he built for King Joseph. All right, now this pyramid has a height of roughly 62 meters and a base of 124 meters. So we can calculate the secret for this pyramid, which is equal to seven palms. Now, secret of seven palms, if we do the inverse cotangent, we find the angle to be 45 degrees. All right, let's look at Khufu's Great Pyramid at Giza. This pyramid has a height of 146.6 meters and a base of roughly 230.3 meters. So we can calculate the secret for this pyramid and it comes out to be 5.5 palms, which is equivalent to roughly 51.8 degrees. 
Caffrey's Pyramid at Giza with a height of 143.5 meters and a base of 215.25 meters, when you calculate the seek, it comes out to be 5.25 palms, which is roughly 53.13 degrees. So what we see is many of the pyramids at Giza in Egypt have a secret of roughly five. You know, 5.25 and 5.5 were fairly common secrets for the Giza pyramids. And those basically are equivalent to angles in the 50 degree range, right? Uh, and let us also remember that Imhotep's pyramid, the step pyramid, was roughly 45 degrees or had a value of seven secrets. Now let us look at the Nubian pyramids in Sudan. So let's look at Pianchi's Nubian Pyramid. It had a height of 10 meters and a base of 8 meters. So the secret for this pyramid was roughly 2.8 palms, which is equivalent to 68.2 degrees. Now let us look at Taharka's Nubian Pyramid built at Nuri, which had a height of 50 meters and a base of 51.75 meters. So the secret for this one, you can calculate at roughly 3.6 palms, which is roughly 62.6 .6 degrees. So we see with the Nubian pyramids, we see secrets in the 2, 3, and 4 range. They tend to have steeper angles in the 60 degree range. Now let us look at some of the Mesoamerican pyramids. So the Aztec pyramid of the sun with 73.2 meters of height and a base of 230.3 meters has a secret which is 11 palms, which is equivalent to roughly 32.5 degrees. Now the Mayan temple of Kukulkan has a height of 30 meters and a base of 55.3 meters which if you were to calculate the secret comes out to 6.45 palms which is equivalent to an angle of 47.3 degrees. So we see not only Imhotep step pyramid but also the Mesoamerican step pyramid. They tend to have the highest secrets with Imhotep's pyramid at 7, this Mayan temple of Kukulkan pyramid at 6.45 and the Aztec Pyramid of the Sun at 11, they tend to have higher secrets, but the higher secret corresponds to lower angles. So many of those step pyramids, the angles are in the 30 to 45 degree range. Now let us analyze another famous pyramid, the pyramid on the back of the U.S. dollar bill. Using our protractor, we can see that this pyramid has an angle of roughly 67.5 degrees. Now we can use the angle of 67.5 degrees to calculate the secret and we see that it comes out to roughly 2.9 palms. So of all the pyramids that we've analyzed and looked at, the pyramid on the back of the U.S. dollar bill is not so closely related to the Giza pyramids and it's not so closely related to the Mesoamerican pyramids, but rather it has the angle and secret of a typical African Nubian pyramid in the Sudan with an angle in the 60s and a secret in the 2 to 4 range. Be sure to pick up African Creation Energy books at your local African Center bookstore, Everyone's Place in Baltimore, Maryland, Nubian Bookstore in Morrow, Georgia, Personality Bookstore in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can also pick up the books on our website, www.africancreationenergy.com, and they're also available on Amazon.com and Barnes and Noble. So as always, this has been Osidon Obawadi, www.africancreationenergy.com, creative solution-based technical consulting. Hotel.